And uh, what's up? It's me, Michael Gallen Diaz <coughs> from Sunderland, England. Yeah, you haven't heard from me in a while. I'm usually always inactive. And we, what? It's a beautiful day in the UK where I come from and where I live in my region and my country. Beautiful, hot, sunny day. And um, let me tell you some stories about when I was at uh, childhood stories when I was at primary school. St. Mary's. Oh my god, where do I begin? Um, somebody pooped in the urinals. I kid you not. Somebody actually pooped in the urinals. What were they thinking? Why? And so disgusting it was. And um, there was. I was trespassing on the older kids' playground. This big, heavy, horrible teacher said, What are you doing here? Called her a dink and poop. And shouldn't have done that. She nearly ripped my ear off. And if only I told the mum earlier, should have nailed the cat, the evil witch. So, yeah, but I didn't. I had to go to the hospital to get it seen to. And, um, there was, uh, this, uh, this g- redhead girl. Whatever that is, between your teeth, I could have sworn it was bleeding up there. She must have injured herself. Yeah, I spent four years in St Mary's. Only spent then in my second primary school, Sunningdale. I only spent three. Yeah, even though they knew I was diagnosed with autism when I was about three years old. They thought sending me to um, an ed to in the mainstream would be a good idea. They were wrong. Then they they were wrong. Wait, my mum's run out. Talk later. Yeah, I remember one day on my way home from Saint Mary's, I put I soiled myself. Yeah, that actually happened. I soiled myself, and um, I, uh, yeah, trying to think, trying to think what else happened, it's in the top of my mind, all these videos are always unscripted, I can't be bothered to write down a script at all, just can't, want to be resourceful, and yeah, this, don't we just love it, yeah, I'll be honest with you guys, vlogging, it's really not my thing, I'm always stuttering, stammering, so nervous, don't know what else I'm talking about. If it's someone with me, then it feels more natural rather than just me talking to you on cam all by myself with this boring random stuff. Anyway, it just came back to my mind when I was in St Mary's. I walked all most all the way home on my own. I was just a little boy. Yeah, I just had I was impatient for my mum to show up in a car. She was very impatient. And then Uncle I think it was Uncle Wayne in a taxi came up and picked me up, I dunno, round the corner um on the main road sort of you're not supposed to be traffic's not supposed to be going in that direction because other traffic's coming this way yeah that that actually happened i kid you not and i was pretty popular at st mary's although just i guess not really not at all they invite all the kids to parties because they don't want anyone to feel left out of course, having autism, I really couldn't concentrate with the work, no, just couldn't, and yeah, I'm very, I didn't eat healthily at all when I was a kid, no, I just, um, only started to begin eating more healthily when I was 14, 
and that's when I was 13, I was on a diet, then fast forward to uh, my mid-twenties or something, that's when I started eating healthily, properly, yeah, I don't like baked beans, but I'll eat baked beans if I've got no choice, I did it before when I went to Miller House with a youth orchestra when I was 21, that was fun, apart from the showers, yeah, freezing cold they were, the la- yeah, granted, it's, it was because I always woke up early, six and stuff, Me, regardless, the showers were freezing cold, the light wouldn't stay on and the shower wouldn't stay on, and having a shave, don't know why I bothered having a shave, because I'm, I'm lazy with that as well. But anyway, I had to get on my knees and shave because the bathroom was designed for beds. You know, the, the bathroom sink didn't accommodate my height, so I had to get on my knees. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, trying to think what it was like for me at Sunningdale. Yeah, remember that some songs from Sunningdale. You're gonna demonetize me for singing them, YouTube. You need skin, take good care of it, don't harm a hair of it, what would you do without it, keep it clean. And said Ross Nizza, is a woolly mammoth. Oh my god, and then Sun and Dale, that's when I got into Digimon, Pokemon. Yeah, very typical 90s kid I, I am, I was, and we ending the video here, because not enough room to store at all. Bye-bye.